Hello, welcome to another English video. In this video, you will learn about verbs that are followed by other verbs that are in the gerund or the ing form. There are several verbs in English that you can use with another verb behind it that uses the ing form. For example, enjoy is one such verb. You can say, for example, I enjoy and then the verb that the action or thing that you like to do goes in the gerund. I enjoy reading books. Okay, so enjoy is one word that we use in this way with the verb plus another verb in the ing. Another verb that we use like this in English is mind. It means is it important to you? For example, you can say, do you mind closing the window? So this means, is it important to you if you can close the window? So another verb that we can use that has another verb after it with ing would be stop. When we use stop, we can use another verb behind it with ing. Please stop making so much noise. So let's look at a list of verbs that are followed by other verbs with ing. So we have finish and we have postpone. Postpone means when you don't have enough time to do something so you say that you will do it later. Then we have consider and we have admit and we have avoid <coughs> deny, risk, imagine, and in British English, fancy. So let's look at some sentences with these verbs. So remember, all of these verbs are used as the verb plus another verb with the ing. So let's look at an example. <coughs> he finished studying at 8 p.m. Graham postponed going on holiday until next year. So that means he did not have time to go on holiday now, so he said he would do it again next year. She considered calling her boss. Robert admitted to breaking the window. And here, sometimes you don't ne necessarily have to put two. You can put Robert admitted breaking the window as well. Leslie avoided answering the question or the questions.
and a few more. Let's see if we can make examples for a few more. Deny, risk, and imagine. Howard denied knowing about the crime. And the rest, you can imagine what these can be. Maybe you can think of some example sentences for these three words. So, as you can see, there is a list of verbs in which we use a verb plus another verb with ing. And we use these verbs in this way to help us make the sentence more complete and talk about things that we can do in the present. Okay, so I hope this video has helped you. Please feel free to comment on it and what you think about it. We would like to know, and good luck with your English.